Helping the police whenever they make an arrest, whenever they use the authority that the government has given to them. We should watch prosecutors when they decide who to prosecute and who to let go. We should even watch judges as they rationalize away uh, our liberties. That's why I say the camera is the new gun. Stay with us, Shelley. We'll get back to you uh, before we finish. Michael Moresco joins us now, who began in late night in 2007 to pedal across the country to spread the message of freedom and to talk to people about the slowly eroding states of state of our freedoms. Michael, welcome to Freedom Watch. Thank you very much, Judge. Uh, it's an honor to be on your show. Thank you. Where did we find you, Michael? Where are you today? Well, I am west of a town called Carlisle and east of a town called Pannisburg. So I am in a cemetery now on a hilltop where I knew I would have cell service. All right. You're in the state of California. What have you and learned about people's attitude towards the government and human freedom? Yeah. What's the message that you're getting from the folks that you meet as you pedal from the Statue of Liberty to Alcatraz? Well, it's a, it, people really don't want to face what the country is turning to. It's a lot of people want to keep their heads in the sand and think that everything is rosy. But if you, if a person frames, I, I'm careful about framing the message right, and I slowly try to let them know that this really is fascism that's rising. And so, and if it's framed right, if I just explain that fascism is corporate government, it's government incorporated, uh, it, it, clicks, uh, it clicks in their brain and they start to realize that things are worse than they want to admit. So it, it's getting, it, it's all right. And what, 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 do you, what do you normally do, Michael, that you're taking a year off in order to spread this message of freedom? Well, I was in Hawaii. I was an uh, audiovisual technician. So I would have been the guy turning the knobs on the sound mixers or on the video mixers in your studio or in a, actually in industrial events, so a convention. If you, if you ever make your way to New York, you're always welcome in any studio where I'm working. Michael, good luck to you. It's an inspirational story. It's one of courage uh, and sacrifice to spread the message of freedom. Uh, and from your friend from New Jersey, Judge Napolitano, thank you for helping Americans to stay uh, free. Shelley, any last thoughts before we sign off to Eric Bowling? One last thing, uh, Sam has been blogging about some of his experiences in jail uh, over at freekeen.com, and I would encourage people to check that out because there's some really fascinating stuff that goes on behind the scenes that you know most of us don't, don't know anything about. So, Shelly Roche, always a pleasure. Uh, until next Wednesday, from Judge Napolitano at the Fox News Channel, at foxnews.com, at the Strategy Room, at your favorite show, Freedom Watch, until next Wednesday at 2 o'clock Eastern. Stay free. Bowling! Way behind the times. Yeah, that was uh, months. That was ski snowboarding. Yeah, snowboarding. Yeah, that's been snow rock.